Welcome to Once Saved. This is a channel dedicated to the supremacy and all-sufficiency of Jesus Christ, who can set us free from sin and see us through any trial we face. This is a really short video in a series called 21 Days of Once Saved, Always Saved Salvation Assurance. It's January 2022, and in honor of the new year, my church in Marietta, Georgia, has asked us to dedicate 21 days to the Lord to draw closer to Him. Over the next 21 days, I'll go through one verse a day that proclaims our salvation assurance in Christ, how salvation can never be lost or forfeited, but is held securely in place for us by our Heavenly Father so we can have assurance and confidence that we are eternally saved. Today's verse is John chapter 5, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Jesus began this verse with the words, verily, verily. That was his customary way of saying, hey, pay attention, because what I'm about to tell you is really important. What he tells us in this great verse is four amazing facts about eternal salvation. First, that eternal salvation comes by believing in Him. We are not saved by our good works or by becoming a good person, by turning from sin, by baptism, by obeying commandments, or by anything else we might try to do to earn God's favor. None of those things save us or keep us saved. Jesus said, He that believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life. The one requirement to being saved is believing. It is the Father who sent his Son Jesus to die for our sins. When we believe the testimony of the Father about his Son, the truth of Jesus, we have everlasting life. What is that testimony? that the Father sent His Son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day. He died in our place so that we don't have to die because of our sinfulness before a perfectly holy God, and He rose from the dead so that we may have everlasting life. When we believe that, we have everlasting life. We're saved by God's grace through faith in Christ alone. Salvation is a free gift. We don't earn it. At the very moment we believe in Christ, God's Holy Spirit indwells us and seals us until the day of redemption so that we can never be lost or fall away into unbelief. Because God knows how to hold on to His children, there is no such thing in Scripture as a saved believer who becomes an unbeliever and is lost. We are saved forever through Christ. Second, salvation starts the moment you believe in Christ. Notice it says, He that believes hath everlasting life. We already have it the moment we believe. We are not waiting till the end of our lives for God to make a final decision based on how good a life we lived. He who believes has, present tense, everlasting life. And everlasting means everlasting. You can never lose it. If you can lose it, it would not be everlasting. And third, one who believes in Christ will never be condemned. Jesus said, the one who believes shall not come into condemnation. This is a guarantee from Jesus of once saved, always saved, that the one who believes in him will never be condemned. He will never erase your name from the book of life. And then fourth, one who believes has already crossed from death to life. Again, we're not waiting to be saved. The moment you believe in Jesus, you have already passed from death to life. And in the entire New Testament, there is not even one example of anyone passing back from life to death. Once you are saved, you are saved forever. But the key to all of this is believing in Christ. That means not just agreeing with the truth about Jesus, but trusting in Him to save you acknowledging that you are a sinner before God who needs to be saved, and making the decision to place your faith in Christ to save you. Folks, it's getting really late. The current age of grace where God is giving people time to turn to Him for forgiveness is almost over. When it ends, it will be too late. God's judgment is coming on this world. If you are not 100% sure you are saved, don't put it off any longer. 
you can have eternal life today. Do it now before it's too late. Making sure you are saved is as easy as ABC. Admit to God that you have sinned. Believe that Jesus, God's Son, died to pay for your sins 100%, was buried and rose from the dead. And then call upon Jesus and ask Him to forgive you and save you. If you make that decision to call upon Him, God gives you this assurance. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're still not sure, I'll include a link to a video I did called, What is the Gospel in Six Words? Thank you for watching.